Kidney cancer was a field that was always for a long time really underfunded. And then really through uh, patient advocates going to the hill, uh, we now have a congressional directed medical research program, the Kidney Cancer Research Program, KCRP, and beautiful research is being done there. And the question was, how can we showcase some of that research? And so the idea for the summit was born. And then together with Tony Cherry and uh, Kidney Can and countless helpers and supporters, we have now KCRS and it's now in its uh, third iteration. It uh, uniquely brings people from all kinds of backgrounds together, physicians, uh, really basic scientists, translational scientists, uh, industry partners. So we're all excited to be here for KCRS 21. Kidney Can is all about accelerating cures and this is an opportunity to have thought leaders come together and share and break down silos. I think if we're all in one room talking about one disease and focus on how to want to help each other cure it, as a team we can do it. What's amazing about this meeting is I'm hearing about a number of trials in progress, a number of drugs that are in development that I was just unfamiliar with. And it just shows you the, the bandwidth of research that's happening in kidney cancer nowadays. So meetings like KCRS 21 are just so essential in terms of broadening my horizons as an investigator and really opening up new opportunities for my patients. Seeing the, the, the tremendous input from the patient advocates here, it gives us a reason we do this to, to help our patients. This meeting is, I think, one of the best catalysts for interaction, for coming up with new ideas. It's one of my favorite meetings of the year. I'm really inspired in being here and being able to talk casually with other people who are in the field. And I know that uh, the uh, scientific exchange that happens here is fantastic. It's great for not only uh, stimulating new ideas, but also sort of re-inspiring and uh, giving a fresh perspective on what one does. This is my first time attending the KCRS meeting and really it's just been a spectacular meeting to be able to network with colleagues and bounce ideas and, and share experiences and, and that's sort of how great research happens. Just a few weeks after KCRS 19, one of our attendees, Dr. Bill Kalin, shared the Nobel Prize in Physiology or medicine due to his work on oxygen sensing, which is application in large part in kidney cancer. The Kidney Cancer Research Summit is incredible. And being at a place like this, and with the brightest minds really in the world in terms of kidney cancer treatment and drug development, is exciting because it tells us that we know we've come a long way. We're seeing already major survival boosts for all of our patients. And having these types of meetings uh, allows us to kind of think together, launch projects together. And there's a lot of funding from these meetings that really focus on creating collaborations, which I think is the best way to move science forward quickly. And this meeting now, especially one of the silver lining of uh, COVID, is becoming more and more international. There's a huge uh, virtual uh, participation. We learn from each other. What's even more exciting is I see that there's this new generation of people who, who are, are really, I think, going to take treatment to the next level. And I'm convinced that in the next five to 10 years, we're going to see tremendous advances in the treatment of kidney cancer. The DOD, the Department of Defense funding that, that has come through for kidney cancer research has created this resurgence of excitement in the kidney cancer community. And researchers now have funds that they can go after. And so we see this chance for them to come and talk about these new cutting edge, high risk, high reward research projects they're working on. One thing we have really tried to do is realize that industry is our partner. If the researchers in academia they come up with a wonderful idea, but the idea can't go anywhere. We know that that's never going to reach a patient. So this group of beginning to end researchers uh, and participants in the whole drug development, uh, treatment development process, it, it's exciting. I want to take something that you are discovering today to a patient, quite literally tomorrow if possible. It never happens tomorrow, but the idea is, the, 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 the hope is there, and, 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 and this provides the energy to do that. Really appreciative to everybody who's, who's come together. We'd also like to especially thank the industry sponsors who made this possible.
to know that there are really bright people, really passionate people out there trying to find a cure gives you hope all the time.